So I'm just looking through this um, hive here because I overwintered. Get my spray. <laughs> I overwintered four of these quadratic boxes um, between sandwich between a national brood box and a national super, which is right here beside me. Um, but I wanted to see what the bees had done in the quadratic boxes, and in fact, so this was a this was a test really of my metal frames made from um, strapping and you can see here they have filled these frames perfectly with honey and the this is the metal strapping I'm talking about so it's a it's a uh, I don't know what it is 20 mil 22 mil something like that uh, metal strapping perforated and um, I made frames out of it because I thought well they're going to be strong uh, they're going to last basically forever and uh, the bees uh, have no objection to them whatsoever it seems because they attach their comb perfectly uh, well to the metal and they have created these lovely little um, re small rectangular um, pieces of comb which could be very easily made in into a comb so I could put a knife around there, take the honey out and put, pop it in a little transparent box and there you have it, cut comb lovely just the job and these are going to be used for queen rearing of course these uh, these little frames um, so uh, a couple of these will go into each of the little boxes um, that I use for queen mating uh, to give them food and then the, the three in the middle three, three frames in the middle out of each five will be for the queen to uh, to lay in and for workers to generally hang out on so there we go, um, quadratic hives, that's how I've been using them um, up till now and they're ready to go up to the queen rating apiary very soon. <coughs> Stuck to the one underneath a bit. So here's another one, here's another frame. Um, same manufacturer, uh, you can see the metal strapping and um, this, in this particular case the bees did make a little bit of a, uh, a connection to the next comb but otherwise they've done a great job on filling that with, uh, with honey as you can see. Super's going to need emptying. It's got the things on the other side. Now I've got this, so I'm just going to take one of these frames out and have a look because I just want to see if the queen's been up here. I don't think she'll have crossed the honey in the quad boxes. So I think this is going to be solid honey. Yes, there's all next one here. Slightly damaged now because I rubbed it against the next cone. Carefully. So that's um, this whole box is going to be extractable within a week, I would say. Nice. Early spring honey, lovely. Do you have a preference for the seasons for the honey? Is there a better tasting season honey? I, I do like the early stuff because it's uh, it's got a kind of freshness about it and it doesn't usually crystallise. Or it's mm. not in any hurry. Yeah. The later stuff tends to have ivy in it and that does crystallise very mm. quickly. Um, and uh, not everybody likes the taste of ivy. I don't mind it, but you can have too much of it quite quickly, I think. Mm. I do like the spring honey. Mm. 
Now, I normally wouldn't leave honey exposed like this, but um, right now all the other hives are really busy foraging, and I don't think it's going to—I don't think that's going to cause a, uh, a robbing problem, particularly on this hive, which is a strong one anyway. So I'll just let them tidy up there. Loose bits of comb. It's not good practice, really, but I think we can get away with it this time.